Jason, you were one of my favourite fighters and you've been training a long time and now you've got a, a fighter good enough to follow in your footsteps and take on the world. Yeah, and you know what? Um, I've actually thought of him in glory four years ago, three, four years ago. Um, I actually, um, when Junior Tuffer was there, um, where I actually talked to a promoter in Australia and that was just before lockdown. So that's how long ago I thought he was good enough for glory. And um, we um, had a fight um, lined up with Junior Tuffer. Um, I, I had no connection to glory, but I thought, I, I, I thought Dave's good enough. If we get to fight Junior Tuffer, Junior Tuffer's there and we're going to do good against Junior Tuffer. Um, that might open a door for him. And then COVID came and it never happened. Um, this time around, you know, he's, he just won King of the Ring twice. He just rematched um, Brando, Brando, who beat him about two months earlier. And then Dave come back and knocked him out in the eight man. So I thought it's his time, but I had no contacts um, for glory. We were just going to try and email people. I mean, about hundreds of thousands of people must email them. Yeah. Then um, Kevin Dick rings me not longer. And oh, he rang me in December and he goes, Jason, I've got a contact for Glory. They want a, a Kiwi um, heavyweight over there. I'm going to do a four man. I, I said to Kevin, Well, you know, Dave just won the two eight man. He's going to win it. But, you know, if you're going to do a four man, please put Dave in. But can I just ask you just to give his name straight to Glory? Um, Kevin goes, oh, I'll think about it. Ring me the next day. He goes, no, you're right, Chase. Um, there's no one at Dave's level. He has just one to it, man. Um, and gave me the contact. And, within a, and we sent a video over, and within a week, we were talking contracts. And we didn't want to tell anyone else. Oh, man, I was so, Dave was, and he was just staying on ground. I was so excited. But didn't tell anyone. I didn't tell anyone until um, we got the contract back. Yeah. Tell us where it all started. When, when did you and Dave get together? Dave, Dave, 30. Um, he started him when he was uh, 23. And I've always thought, man, for a big guy, you know, I, I get for a big guy. He moves. He moves fast. Uh, he's agile and he learns fast. He picks up things really fast. He's smart. He's a smart fighter. So, how far into the journey did you have that thought that? Man, this guy is uh, better than the average he, bear. He's been with me over seven years. He's been with me seven years. Yeah, probably uh, three. Or how many? Three, three, four years ago. I, I had a. I had a. I could see him being in glory. Wow. Yeah. And you've given him some boxing fights as well. Yeah, he doesn't like boxing. You know, he doesn't like boxing. You know, he did one, but sometimes it's been so hard to get him a kickboxing fight that I've had to push him. I said, Dave. A fight's a fight, man. We don't want to get too rusty. Um, so I've had to push him into some boxing fights. He doesn't like doing it. Um, in his second fight, every fought Tai Tui Vasa. Um, it, was, it was supposed to be an eight man of people under 10 fights of any sort, but there was there were the ringers there. But it was Australia. Um, Tai, I, I believe he won the first round, won the third round. Um, he got dropped in the second, so I believe it should have been an extra round. It is what it is. It was good experience. It was good to fight Ty. I mean, look at Ty. Yeah. He's the man now, so it was good to share the ring with him to, and to be able to say that, hey, man, we, we shared the ring, went the distance with Ty Tuivasa. Yeah. Uh, when, when it came to his first um, King in the Ring, did you think you he's good, he's going to win this? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 100%. Uh, and I, I'm actually glad that he's contracted to Glory now because if we do another super heavy King in the Ring, he won't fight on it and it will give someone else a chance to win it. Because right now I can't see anyone beating him. The fight's a long way away, um, distant wise. Uh, any problems, you know, like? My only problem is that I forgot to put in the contract to give him extra leg. I mean, I wouldn't be cheeky and ask for, um, for business class. I haven't seen him yet, he hasn't proven himself yet. Um, but, I, but I, you know, we, we're, we're paying for our own, um, for him to be an emergency exit. Um, well, which Higher Paul is sponsoring actually. Thank you, Higher Paul. Uh, they're, um, so they, they've paid for him, um, you know, we're, we're, which is close to a thousand dollars just to get um, extra leg room because, because it's going to be more comfortable for him. 
yeah. he's going to perform better and it's going to be more comfortable for me because <laughs> then I don't have to sit next to him. <laughs> and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how long he's been training for us. When did you find out about the... We found, out, we found that in December, we kept our feet on the ground, especially Dave. Um, we, we didn't even tell anyone. We, we signed the contract, I think, in January, sent it over, hadn't got it back. But before we got the contract back, so we weren't going to tell anyone until we got the contract back, signed from them. Um, but before we got the contract back, they had already put the card up. So when, as soon as they put the card up, then we told we you know we called the fighters and we told them. I was dying to tell them. I was dying to tell them, you know, because now now also, New Zealand dream for kickboxers is to be on King of the Ring. Yes. You want to show yourself to the rest of the country. You want to prove that you're the best. But now, because one of our kings has got into a contract in glory, not just one fight, he's got a two-year, six-fight contract in glory, now the dream is for all Kiwis. Now, they might get there too, because that's where, um, well, that's where he's proven himself, and that's where Kevin, instead of doing a foreman, has said, yeah, no, you're right. Um, he's proven himself twice. He's been three people in one night twice. Um, so now hopefully um, it's going to open some doors for the rest of Kiwi kickboxers. Well, King in the Ring has done, done so much for the, for the fight scene in New Zealand. Um, how's that camp been with Dave? Oh, awesome. Uh, he, he, he trains awesome. Uh, I, love the way, I love the way he trains. He, they, they, Dave trains awesome. The, the European style of fighting, you, have you seen your opponent? Yeah, I've seen the opponent, I've seen a couple of fights. Um, he's a swinger, he likes to come forward, um, which is good. <laughs> good, we don't have to chase him around. Oh, well, and, and when do you, do you leave? Uh, we leave uh, Monday, Monday coming. Monday coming, it's a 22 hour flight, plus a three hour stopover, so it'll take us uh, 25 hours, so from the time we get to the airport, we'll be spending about 30 hours trying to get there. Well, I know you'll make it, it, it all worthwhile, mate. Hey, um, while I've got you, can we talk about King in the Ring? Yep. Because, uh, as we say, the biggest show in New Zealand and uh, 62 kg at a really good lineup. The 62s is popular, um, popular, and you know, man, those guys are animals, they're fit. They, they can go hard for nine rounds, they can go hard for 12 rounds if every fight was extra round. Um, it's going to be good, we've got the two-time King um, Nikoda in it, but someone that we haven't seen in Auckland is Lucas from Jackals. Leon and Andrew, they run a good stable, that's one, but he's had like 50 fights. He's had 50 fights, he's been in distance with Nikoda in the past, so even though we haven't seen him, I think you better look out for the name Lucas from Jackals. And uh, some of the other car, uh, fights on the card, you've got Michelle Preston. As Michelle's fighting 10 rounds. She's defending her interim um, WBA boxing title, which is going to be awesome against a Mexican. So it's going to be good to see a Mexican boxer all the way in New Zealand. Um, Michaela Jenkins fighting Wendy, Wendy Talbot, that's going to be good. It's going to be good, and I've got a real interesting fight. I've got um, Jose, or Georgie, you say it, from, um, from Shuriken. He's fighting Josh, Josh Wood. Um, so they were both in the, Josh was a reserve in the 72s. Jorge yeah. was, in the, was in the eight, man. So they're doing an X Rules fight. First round kickboxing, oh, sorry, first round boxing, second round kickboxing, third round Muay Thai. So this is going to be interesting. Yeah, uh, well, maybe maybe we'll do more of it if it if it's popular. Well, hey, thanks very much. Um, always a pleasure talking thanks, to Tony. you, and it's great to see that you're. Uh, it's good. To, uh, it's good to have you, Tony. Man, I, I, you've been around my whole fight career. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, mate. It's been a real pleasure, and uh, hopefully you'll, I'll be around a bit longer. <laughs> I, ho I hope so too. Yeah. For my fighters as well. Is that where you did your Wim Hof? Was that in your... Yeah, yeah. Holland, yeah. yeah. Uh, so if, if uh, Stroh's not too far out of um, Holland, if I get the chance, I'll, 
Oh, whooping them. See him. Yeah. Go and see him.